Dynamic attributes are options you assign on parts and part configurations. These attributes are the product options that display at dealerships. An attribute is any option a customer can select. If you are a boat manufacturer, a boat's attributes might be engine size, color, hull length, and so on. The selected attributes save on the quote and sales order. The manufacturer uses these attributes when building the part or pulling it from stock. The finished part the customer receives then has these attributes. Begin by creating a dynamic attribute class. After you define the parameters for the class, create the attributes the class contains. Navigate to Dynamic Attribute Class Maintenance. Click the New button. Enter the class ID that helps identify the attributes. For example, your company manufactures boats, so you enter Boat OPS. Then enter a description, like Boat Options, that explains the main purpose for the Dynamic Attribute class. To indicate this class's attributes will be uploaded to Epicor Commerce Connect, activate the Web Class checkbox. ECC will then deploy attributes in this class to Dealer Portal. They will display as part options. Select the Active checkbox. You can now select this dynamic attribute class on parts and part configurations. Once this class is used on any parts, part configurations, quotes, or sales orders, you cannot deactivate it. If you attempt to do this, a message displays explaining an attribute is in use and this class cannot be deactivated. But if you remove the class from parts and part configurations, you can return to this program and deactivate the class. Now that you've created the class, click Save. You next create the attributes this class includes.